Chad HD Show News Talk, 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Thank you very much for tuning in this morning. Uh, we, we continue to uh, visit with the candidates uh, running for office. Early voting continues today. And in studio uh, with me, candidate uh, in the Republican primary for Justice of the Peace Precinct 2, Susan Rowley, back in studio. Welcome back. Hey, thanks, Chad. Great to be back. Yeah. Uh, how's the campaign going so far? I think it's going really good. I honestly do. Um, I know the early voting numbers on the first day were really good. Um, I know this cold weather, maybe yesterday and today aren't going to be as high, but hopefully everybody will get out after that once the weather clears up. I I almost got into a wreck coming here. Saw dozens on the road. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those where, uh, you know, this morning probably not going to get a lot of people out, but maybe as it warms up, uh, you'll get a few more people out to... uh, to vote. So when you're, I know you've been doing block walking, you've been talking to folks. Um, what do you say to when when people ask you what is the difference between you and the other candidates uh, who are running? What is the the main one or two items that separates you from uh, your opponents? Well, the big one is that I have legal experience, and I've got twenty years of of legal experience, and I've practiced in these courts for twenty years. So, and I've been doing the classy tickets and the and the uh, t- the classy misdemeanors and the tickets and all that kind of stuff my whole career. So that's my passion. That's what I, I know everything about. So that's one of the, that's the big thing. But for example, I'll bet you I'll give you a little tip today because this is the day that everybody's going to be getting tickets for what's called failure to control speed. And what that means, and I can't tell you, every time when there's when there's a weather like this, I get people calling me in droves saying, I wasn't speeding, I wasn't speeding. And so I have to explain to them that it doesn't mean that you were speeding. It means that you were speeding, you're going too fast for the conditions of the road, hmm. and you didn't control your car. So essentially, if you get into a wreck on ice, even if you were going one mile an hour, they're going to say, well, you shouldn't have been out on the ice. So many people don't understand that particular ticket, but since I know, I know I've handled pretty much every ticket you can think of out there, so I can explain it pretty well to people. But that one is more poignant for today. Yeah. Talk about the the learning curve uh, for something like it, because you are touting your experience. Right. Um, so what is the, the learning curve like, and why would it be bad if, uh, if someone else were to get into this office? Well, I'm... Having legal experience, I've gone to law school. I've been doing it for 20 years. My competitors have not had any kind of legal training whatsoever. They're going to get a week-long class. But I don't know. If you were hiring a contractor to work on your house or to build a house, would you want someone that had 20 years of experience or would you want someone that just took a week-long class? I mean, I think it's kind of a no-brainer on that, that we need to get someone in there that knows what they're doing. I mean, just because the law says... That, oh, well, if they mess up, you can still appeal it to an, a higher court. Let's just get someone in there that knows what they're doing and knows the law, and then we won't have to have the the expense and the worry and everything about appealing it up. We'll just get it done down downstairs in the JP court and get it done with. What, what is the, from, from, how, from what you know, what is the workload like right now for the JP courts? Is, are things moving quickly or is, is, is it kind of bottled up? Oh, JP2 is terrible right now. I know that there are thousands of active warrants right now, and I can bet you any amount of money that at least half of those, if not more, should be dismissed due to statute of limitations. Uh, I, this, this court particularly, when I get hired on a JP ticket, if it's JP4, I'll tell the client, well, it'll probably be a, f- a few weeks to maybe a month before we get it on the docket. When it's JP2, I tell them, all right, you're going to have to wait six months, a year, maybe two years before it gets done because wow. that's the backlog that they have there. And Why is that? I don't know. The judge doesn't have a real docket for tickets. So all he does is he likes to meet individually with every person that has a ticket in his office, which is definitely not efficient. But they also are not aware of the way the law is um, that there is – a statute of limitations and that the ticket itself is not what binds the statute of limitations. They have to do another form and it's called a, a complaint. And without that complaint, then nothing stops the statute of limitations. So I've had 
many clients in that court where after two years are up, I go in and say, okay, you got to dismiss it now. And then, 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 then the precinct doesn't get any money. But I've had t- just recently one of my f- clients get a letter from the, the court, which letters, if you're on a, if you're on a case as an attorney, you don't get letters. Your clients don't get letters. You get the letters. Hmm. And they got letters from this court saying, you're, you're going to have a warrant if you don't pay this. And I've had clients, no, it's after two years. They can't make you pay that. It's 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 supposed to be dismissed now. Yeah. So, um, and they get all freaked out saying they're going to get a warrant when it's my responsibility to make sure that that doesn't happen and I need to get the paperwork. So it sounds like it, it's a little bit of a mess, uh, it, a at, mess. at JP2. So how would you uh, clean up that mess, so to speak? Well, the minute I get in there, I can promise you this. I'm going to look at every old case. If they're over two years old, and then they're dumped. I mean, all these warrants that are sitting out there, there a lot of them are warrants. Like I said, my friend who said, you're going to have a warrant. Well, if he had a... If he had a warrant and it was a if statute of limitations had ran, then that's not a valid warrant. I want to get all those warrants out of there and clean up the docket. I can cut it in half probably in the first week that I'm there. Wow. So, uh, Tell folks how they can uh, find out more information about you and your campaign. Um, the best source, I have a lot of great stuff on my Facebook. So if you go to Susan Rowley for F-O-R, JP number two. And um, just look at that. I think you'll find some really interesting stuff. And it talks a lot about my credentials and how how long I've been doing this and how much I want to make a difference and uh, really help out the community. Because that's, that's really what the job's about. I want to help the people and I want to make sure that they understand the law and they understand what's going on. Yeah. Susan, uh, good to see you again and uh, best of luck. Always great to see you. You take care. All right. You too. Okay.